guys, I literally just started to pack and this little monster decided to sprawl out on the bed. I can guarantee he is not going to be any help. Okay. It's okay. He loves his belly being scratched, honestly. He rolls over like 20 times a day. Don't you? Yes. Okay. Stop stealing the show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my two chop drawers. Most of them, like one is just literally full of like undies, bras, activewear, sportswear. The second is like a whole nother lot of sportswear, which I'm going to be pretty much throwing all of it out. Like I honestly probably wear like the same three singlets and I have like my um, leggings on rotation. So in like the longest time, I'm just not going to bother keeping because... I mean, the one good thing is our new place has so much more storage, so that is a good thing. But if I'm not wearing it now, I'm probably not going to wear it again in the future. So I'm just going to be really mindful of what I want to take with me and then pretty much throw everything else out. So I'm going to start clearing out all of my drawers here. Like, they are just an absolute hot mess. Like, I don't even know what is even in here. Like, the amount of things that I probably haven't worn in, like, the longest time... This isn't even mine. This is obviously Mark's. It's like an extra large Under Armour top. So there you go. Perfect example of what I don't even know what is in my drawers. So I'm just looking through all of my clothes. And honestly, guys, this pile here is all of my workout clothes, like workout t-shirts. Here is some more active wear that I always wear. Here is my pile of leggings, which honestly, like, I have so many pairs of black leggings. I swear people probably think I wear the same ones over and over. I found two of my body suits that I'm super keen for summer. Obviously, it's winter here right now. But I brought this one from um, this brand. I love a lot of their clothes. And I found this beige or caramel bodysuit that I've had for the longest time. So I'm super keen to wear that for when summer comes around. And I also have it in the black as well, because obviously I have everything in black. So I found those two, which I'm super excited about. I found these shorts that I brought that I didn't even know I had, but... Okay, guys, so I'm almost halfway through getting through all of the drawers, but can I just get some, like, support here? Am I the only person who has a drawer like this in the bottom of their cupboard? So hmm, I'm going to show you what it looks like, but yeah, not ideal. So in my bottom drawer, like, this is a good depth drawer like pretty pretty decent and i just don't even know why i have clothes in here that i've never opened up or never even worn before um this is that is a blazer from boohoo i actually remember buying this online and i really wanted to wear it i have um this is a play suit to, um from tutha and then i also have some shorts here from cali and i've got like some workout clothes from Cotton On Body and I do have labels on it still in their packages. Like I think I can say that isolation is a pretty good excuse as to why I haven't worn half of these clothes, but please support me in saying that I'm not the only person out there who has this problem or is like this because I need some, uh, I need some reassurance because I'm literally going through so many of my clothes and they've still got most of their labels on them. I've not worn them. I haven't taken out of their packaging. And I also don't even know if I really want to keep them. Like, I don't know, like, here's a disclaimer. During isolation, I've absolutely loved the fact that I can just wear lounge clothes all the time. And it's like a dream come true because I love big baggy jumpers, exhibit A, I love leggings, I love workout clothes, all of that. I, I'll try it again. I love all of... I love all of that, but I just also have really lost like, my flunks. Really, really, really. I've also just lost my flunk for wanting to like, I don't know. I mean, obviously we can't go anywhere, so that's probably a really good excuse. And I think if I had somewhere to go, I'd probably have to get dressed up. But I don't know, just for now, I'm kind of like, I'm just so like, comfy in my active wear. That I look at all these clothes and I'm like, do I want to pack them? Do I want to give them away to charity? Like, what do I want to do? Oh, he's chewing my hair. <laughs> um, so I don't know, but yeah, 
please let me know that I'm not the only girl in the world who literally has a drawer full of clothes that I've never worn, never taken out of the packaging or anything like that. So I literally have pretty much everything that were in those drawers in here. So in the middle, I've got all of my t-shirts and casual clothes. I've got my activewear in that corner and also over in that corner as well. And I've got a few more things to put on here. I don't know if this is showing my age, but I don't know if you guys remember these bags, like what a vibe, but they were like around when I was in primary school and I actually found them in our local Coles supermarket the other week. Like they're the best things for like storage and packing. And obviously I was going to throw them out after we've used them. But I brought a whole bunch of these to pack everything in. We move in exactly one day. So I've just kind of pulled apart our couch, gave it a really good steam clean. So now I'm just kind of waiting for those to dry before I put that back on. We're actually selling our couch today. So someone's coming through from Marketplace to pick it up at about five o'clock. Um, Cause we're buying a whole new lounge suite for our new place. But I feel like once this is kind of out of the way, I can then obviously start to like clean and pack up everything else. God, you guys, honestly. <laughs> I started packing and I'm just literally a quarter of the way through and I'm sitting here thinking to myself what have I done but it's actually really cute I was looking through and I found like some old cards I think this is from Christmas time um from Mark and I like to each other and like honestly we used to be so kind to one another it's like dear hall our first Christmas together this means the absolute world to me that I get to wake up next to you every day of the week and even so even more so on Christmas time. Like honestly, we used to be so nice to one another. <laughs> now like an old married couple. But I um I actually keep like all of my cards and everything. So I've just got this old, I think I probably got this bag for my birthday. So I'm just gonna pack all this stuff in here because obviously we're keeping that. Um, we've got a massive junk pile over there. Like honestly, everything is such a mess. Like you walk around right now and there's just honestly like everywhere the couch is going in about an hour's time so that's all being cleaned and ready to go and then yeah i've just cleaned out all these drawers these are all empty i put in like all of our ornaments and stuff and like photo frames diffusers actually this is a really cute thing i'll show you guys so for i think it was valentine's day i got home one day and mark was like don't go into the bedroom i have a surprise for you all that anyway what he'd done was he'd gone and printed off all of our photos well not all of them but this is probably like the probably from the last six to ten months maybe and anyway, he printed them all off and then like spread them out all on our bed i actually thought i was getting proposed to huh <laughs> funny um and they're just like all of our photos together from like all of our holidays and like places we've been together and all of that stuff this was actually one of our very first dates we went on we went to a winery and it was absolutely freezing like it was raining it was cold he looks so young there look at his hair cute um this was from bali so we're on top of this like volcano they have like this little i don't know thing there but that was really cute also from bali more from bali gosh it looks so fat in bali <laughs> um what else do we have this was also from bali so obviously we took like a lot of photos on our bali trip oh my gosh this was our very first photo together so this was from valentine's day so he took us to this like I think it was kind of like a Spanish place for Valentine's Day and our very first Valentine's Day together. Like we have been dating for, I think it was like a month before Valentine's Day, but this was our very first photo. He actually still has his photo on his background on his phone. But yeah, so I bundled all those photos together, put them together and obviously they're coming with us. But yeah, I feel like we should have framed some of these photos. We went to F45 in Seminyak. Um, but yeah, anyway, I have, Pretty much packed up all of the like lounge room stuff here so i mean here's all our personal documents obviously some like decor here um some more stuff in this bag here all of our kind of photo frames and we have a heap of wine um bottles up the very top that i've got to find the thing for so i actually just found an old birthday hamper that was sent to me so the box actually had i'll show you guys the box had a whole bunch of um you guys can see like a whole bunch of tissue paper so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna wrap up all the wine bottles with that so obviously when we move they're not smashing around hopefully fingers crossed um but yeah like it's just a matter of going through everything chucking shit out because there's just so much stuff like saying to mark before like we've collected so much stuff over the past like 12 months just of like 
honestly like rubbish there's so much so much paperwork and just odd bits and pieces that were like oh yeah we'll just keep that like we don't need it so i'm kind of going through everything now and just chucking it out he's actually gone for an hour so we both get one hour a day to go outside and do our thing so he's gone for a walk i think so that's nice for me because I can just keep packing because packing is my job. Um, so he's going to come back later and we're going to tackle his clothes together. So that'll be fun. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just going to keep getting all of sort of the main areas packed up. So I'm finally tackling my cupboard and I just, oh my God. Okay. I was going to show you the amount of clothes that I have still with tags in them is ridiculous. So I brought this stunning dress. It's kind of, it's a bit short. It doesn't look that short in the, in the camera. But I brought this probably not even last summer. So this you can see the tags. So the tags are still on this one, obviously. I brought this one to wear. I'm actually going to wear it to a friend's birthday. But I ended up changing my mind on what I want to wear. So I've got this one. And then I brought this really stunning jumpsuit. It's so pretty. It's by Willow. Um, but it's silk. And it kind of has a bit of a tie at the front with a frill at the bottom. I'm really not showing this well. But... There's just so many pieces in my wardrobe. Again, I actually was going to wear this to my friend's birthday, but just didn't do that. And then I got this one because we were meant to be going to Europe this year. So I was thinking like what's something really nice I could wear in Italy. But yeah, that didn't happen. Um, but there was this really nice flowy white dress, really pretty sleeves, ruched at the waistline and then super flowy and nice with a really nice open back. So I would I had visions. <laughs> plan to to be wearing that in italy but that obviously just didn't happen so i'm just going through all of my stuff like this is my cupboard behind me i did my drawers yesterday so they're all empty and packed away all things i don't want i go on to the opportunity shop but my dilemma is do i even want half of these clothes like pre-iso me would have said absolutely because obviously i hoard clothes with tags still on them but post isolation i'm kind of like do I want them? I don't know. I just feel like I was saying earlier in this vlog, if I haven't edited it out already, I'm just in such a flunk in isolation. Like, I just don't feel like I want to do anything. I don't want to socialize. I think it's because I can't really see it all ending. Like, I can't see us going back to, like, normal. But, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be fun going through all of this stuff. But what I did buy was I got these these vacuum seal bags so they're really good for clothes so you can put as many clothes as you want in them and then you vacuum the heck out of them and they become really compact so what i'm going to think i'm going to do is i'm going to put all of my summer clothes into those and obviously then when i get to the new place i can just put them aside then obviously unpack them later on but they're all sort of together so in the other bag I have over there, I've got all of my sort of winter clothes because that's what we're going through right now. And those were the ones that are in my drawers. So they're pretty much all organized, but pretty much in my cupboard here, I'll show you guys. Like there's just everything from like all my skirts through to like t-shirts, dresses, work clothes that I literally obviously don't wear anymore because we're not in the office. Um, so I'm just going to go through all that now. The real offender here, can I just show you guys? So, um, from here, so this little line here, that was where Mark and I were like, oh, okay, I'll have this half, you have that half. Let me show you exactly where his half starts. Right here. So, oh, hello, Kobe. So he has his, it starts here. He's got a, I think it's a Tommy jumper or something. So that all the way along here. And can I just say, He's not worn half of this. So tonight, when he gets back from his one-hour walk, we are going to go through, and I am honestly <sighs> going to make him get rid of all this shit because he doesn't need half of it. He's not worn half of it in the longest time. Um, I actually brought him two new hoodies. Uh, these are both from Industry, and this one from Tommy, and he's not worn them. Like, he's a creature of habit, like, so am I, but he has this one jumper, actually. It's really cute. I brought him a hoodie probably about, like, a month after we started dating. I know, right? Already trying to take over, but... And he's worn that, like, he wears that all the time. Like, it's his comfort jumper. It gets so dirty that I have to literally rip it off him to wash it. But in saying that, I thought, you know what? I'll buy him some new jumpers. Didn't wear them once. But what my problem is... So, really quick story here, guys. When we first moved into this apartment together, he was living at home with his parents because he'd come back from the UK. And 
he pretty much packed everything. So I remember being at his parents' house and we we're going through all of his clothes and I think I helped cull like half of it, but he's like, no, I, knew, I still need half of this, blah, blah, blah. He didn't. He brought it all here. It is sat in his part of the drawers over there. So those uh, eight drawers he has four, I have four. And these lot hasn't touched them. He's touched some of his crew clothes and like some of the summer t-shirts, but nothing else is his touch. So, so yeah, I'm basically just going to make him get rid of pretty much 90% of his stuff. No, not really. Not that much. But if he's not worn it, I don't want to take it because he's not going to wear it. He's actually lost a fair bit of weight since we first met anyway. So like none of his clothes really fit him. So I don't know why he wants to keep them, but we're going to go through them tonight. I actually said to him before when he was out in his walk before I say, when he said he was going to go for a walk, I said, you know, when you come back, everything is going to be packed up and I'm going to pack for you. He's like, please don't touch my stuff. Like I want to do it. Blah, blah. I'm like, okay. But I've warned him that but i've warned him that he is really gonna have a clean out so wish me luck with that but that's the plan okay guys honestly for someone who spends 90 percent of their time at home i just have a ridiculous amount of clothes this was actually one of my favorite red jumpsuits. I was to my friend's engagement party last year. It's from Cook Eye, which is a really well-known Australian brand for anyone who's following from Australia. Absolutely love it. And it's so nice. It has like an open back. I think I wore it a couple of times in Bali as well. But all of these ones here all still have their like tags on them. I remember I brought this last year. I was like, oh, it'd be really nice for work. Never wore it. That also really nice for work. Never wore it. Um, so I'm just slowly kind of getting through the first quarter of my wardrobe but yeah i just have a lot of stuff for someone who doesn't do a lot of most of my clothes like all my ones that still have tags on them and everything like that into this vacuum seal bag so i've still got a fair bit of room so what i'm going to do is go through some more stuff that just isn't in season or things that i do want to keep but i don't really need right now and i'm going to pop them in here so i've got most of my summer t-shirts that i've kind of like but don't wear like summer t-shirts there these are some of the clothes that still had all the tags on them some dresses some jumpsuits and some other clothes there as well so these are all the ones i'm going to put into this bag and then obviously when we get to the new place i can kind of just put them aside for a bit before i decide to that is some empty coat hangers success packing we've done the bedroom we've done most of the lounge room mark has done all the kitchen with the food he's very proud of his efforts as you can see behind he's packed everything up nice and neatly i'm about to have an apple he's gonna make some lunch babe what's the time so it's 10 to 3 we've done most things so we've got all our clothes packed all shoes everything from the bedroom i've emptied the linen press we've packed up all the wine <laughs> Um, kitchen's pretty much done. We just got a few of the cutlery plates, cups and those things to do, but that's fine. And that's it. So we did like a few runs of rubbish before. We threw out so much crap. And now we're off to get the removal truck. So Mark rented out a van for tomorrow for like all of the fridge, the washing machine, the bed, all of our big ticket items. So we're picking up at 4.30 today. And that is it. So guys, my grand plan of Mark throwing all his shit out has gone very south. He has an excuse for every single reason why he has a pile of hoodies. This tall, two piles. Yeah, one material. Two. Mm. It's from Jack and Jones. It's buttoned up. It's got a nice little niche pocket. Mm -hmm. The arms are quite short cut. I'm sure I also want it. So it's brand new. Yeah. Like every other hoodie here that I brought you that you've just decided this not to wear. This is actually a t-shirt and it feels quite nice. Mm-hmm. So you have to tell me what you think. It sits well on your arms. It doesn't like bulk up or anything. It is a bit of a short cut though. Turn around. 
shortcut wear. No, that sits much better on your chest than the other ones did. I actually really like that. And it has like the rugged look around. This is the Nike jumper that you bought me that I love. He did it. He cleaned out his whole cupboard. I'm feeling proud. Proud's a good word. What I'm not proud of is this. There is so much shit here that you are not taking. So now you have to go through and pick five items from each pile. All of the above. I'm literally drowning in your clothes. That's how big these piles are. towards the end of it i'm just packing up all of my handbags putting them into a box i've just got like a few bits and pieces to kind of put together but this is kind of most of all the last minute stuff um chocolate i have like clothes here for tomorrow but underneath that is like all of uh, all of like my makeup palettes and stuff that i had on my desk on my dresser i should say and then just like other bits and pieces that like are just ad hoc Honestly, you probably saw this, what, this bag in an earlier piece of the vlog and then Kobe has gone and eaten it. So that's real helpful. But everything else is kind of off the walls now. So yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. Everything is so empty, like it's gone, everything's vacant. So you guys, I just came back to the apartment. I'm here to meet the end of lease cleaners. Um, I've just driven, driven over from our new place. Um, and so they'll be here in about 10 15 minutes. So they're here to steam clean the carpets and do a final end of lease clean And then I think on Monday we'll hand back the keys because we don't need them anymore So I know it feels so weird being here like it's kind of sad like I know this was our first place that Mark and I had together So it's obviously it's very special, but it was just by the end of it. It was just way too small. So um, Last night was our first night in the new house. Went very smoothly. Um, so funny story, we went to get some, um, his parents were giving us the couch or lounge suite that was in their house. Anyway, when they first brought the lounge suite, they put it into their house and then they renovated afterwards. So the doors that originally went through, it no longer doesn't fit out of the house. So we actually sold the lounge suite that we had so we could buy the new one and now we don't have anything so um you'll see in our next like the next episode of the moving vlogs that we actually are sitting on camping chairs which is fun so we were looking on last night on what couches to buy but all of them have honestly like six to eight weeks like time from like purchasing to what do you call it building it i don't know like there was like six to eight weeks before we didn't get a couch and we were like oh. so we're not sure we're gonna do that but funny story but yeah so i'm back here it's super echoey it's um a lot of memories are made here which is super sweet like i said it's bittersweet like it was our first place together but um you know just happens that life as you go through life obviously things change and evolve and i guess moving house is just one of those things but this place will always be super special actually here will be here soon there's like a cleaning company that's coming um and that's pretty much it not <laughs> bye guys so this is our front door when you walk in the front door you basically have the lounge room so we have the kitchen over here which is pretty small i won't lie to you guys like we kind of just have all of our fruit here um all the spices and stuff knife set scales pretty basic kitchen over there I have like tea coffee kettle all those fun things um, the oven and the dishwasher and then again like really small as you guys can see the lighting probably isn't that great because it's super glary outside but um, our lounge room is super small um, so we have Kobe stuff here of him and then we have our lounge room 
all in one and then over here is where I keep myself busy so this is my home desk that I have set up since working from home um, it is as you guys can see super small um, so I literally kind of I get distracted so easily because I'm sitting here the TV is here Mark will be here sometimes and I'm probably also cooking over there at some point so um, and this is kind of just our little walk-in little um, table that we have keys and crap and everything else that accumulates on there um, I'll show you guys outside as well. So we have a pretty sweet view of the city. <laughs> Don't you love tradesmen? Here is sort of our linen press where I keep all the towels, bed sheets and those kind of things. Um, just quickly show you guys the bathroom. Um, we have our laundry and whatnot behind those doors. Shower. Excuse the floor, I've just had a shower before. Um, and then honestly, this is like all the storage we have for our bathroom. So it is super small. I just have those two cabinets there. I did go and buy this little trolley over here from a storage place, which has been an absolute godsend. So I have most of my makeup in that and keep other bits and pieces there as well. Um, and then over here, we have the bedroom. So this is kind of our main, this is our bedroom. Again, it's not that massive, but... Um, it's kind of, it works well. So I have pretty much everything that I own in those drawers there, bed, and then we have some more cupboards over here. But believe it or not, Mark actually has more crap in there than what I do. Um, and then, yeah, that's kind of, that's our little house. So as you guys can see, it's not the most biggest of spaces, hence the upgrade. Um, but I've loved living here. It's been such a pretty place to live in. I'm going to be sad to go, but I'm also just like... Ugh, the thought of packing everything up like